my relationship with Miss Tony was just, I don't know. I was shocked because I really, really like Tony. I'm not a bad person. And I do not have a negative vibe. I started the whole drama with Caroline because I didn't like her before the show. Mm. Caroline's not a bad person. I can't even, no, none of the women are bad people. Mm. In this video, I will be sharing with you some important information that Laura said about Tiana, Caroline, and her husband. Laura said she was shocked at some information that she discovered. I was shocked too as well. So kindly stay tuned to the end of this video to find out about these juicy details. Kindly click on the like button and on the subscription button. Let's get started. The bad thing about the show was that once you have a fight with somebody, they all pick a side. You don't necessarily need to pick a side. Let the women fight and then make, make up. In a recent interview with Laura Ikeji Kanu on Arise 360 TV, Laura talked about her relationship with Tiana. She said they were good and cool before the show and even on the Real Housewives of Lagos show. But she discovered that Tiana was an instigator. Tiana told the other ladies not to talk with her nor vibe with her at the Dubai trip. Tiana also agreed to some negative and nasty things that the other ladies were saying about her, things that she did not do, things that we are not true tiana was also saying some negative and nasty things about her at her confessionals and tiana was supporting caroline instead of supporting her laura said she was completely shocked when she found out about all of these things my relationship with tony was really cool before the show and i actually thought that she would always be on my side until i watched the show and i realized that she was the one that told the you know other um, housewives not to talk to me i was I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm watching the show, and I'm like, ah, what? Ah, ah, but we, we discussed this thing, you know? For her, there were a lot of people saying things behind. Yeah. You know, people were, you know, telling her stuff that I did or that I said that I didn't say. After the fight I had with Caroline, it was obvious they all went, you know, with Caroline. Even my friend went mm -hmm. with Caroline. Well, I feel that Tiana was prompted to behave like this because she was angry with laura ekg kano laura had snubbed her several times and she was tired of laura's drama so that prompted tiana but it's not good at all even though you are not happy with laura tiana should not have behaved in that kind of way so what do you think about tiana and laura's friendship do you feel that their friendship can still work out do you feel that their relationship their friendship can have a second chance let me know about your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Laura Fona said that she observed that the other ladies were planning something against her at the Dubai trip. She said that she realized this through psychology and with the way the ladies behaved with her at the airport. The ladies snubbed her, they did not greet her, they just left her at her corner, at her space and she just knew that something was cooking up against her and she determined in her heart to apologize and that was the apology she gave on the show which we the audience saw but Laura is claiming that that apology is false and it's not remorseful because she didn't do any wrong to the ladies <laughs> Laura Fona said she's cordial with the ladies but she's not friends with them if she sees them on the street she will greet them hello hi and walk away they were, I didn't know they were ganging up at that time um but I felt the energy was very off when we're coming to Lagos. Um, to the, when we're going to Dubai at the airport, they were all, you know, oh, I, 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 and I was like, ah, ah, what? Tony, ah, ah, you're my friend. Am I? I <laughs> you know, I, we entered the plane. It was still off, so I just knew that Dubai, they were going to come for me. I just knew. See, I, I read psychology. Mm -hmm. I knew that Dubai was going to be bloody, so I just said, you know what? Dubai is a place to, you know, make amends. Make sure that these women are okay with you. And then when we leave Dubai, we can start our madness. Mm -hmm. But in Dubai, you have to respect yourself. I just knew what was going to happen. So I had to respect myself. In Dubai. There are a lot. I didn't need to apologize to anybody because I didn't, do, I didn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything to most of them. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to, you know, just chill and make sure that nobody fights me in Dubai because <laughs> I can't run home. <laughs> but was Laura's unremorseful apology necessary though? Like... Laura should have given this apology remorsefully. Like she has, she has made these ladies go through a lot of stress, a lot of energy loss because of her unnecessary drama. 
feel that the apology should have been remorseful. But what do you think? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Laura talked about her husband as well. Goodness. She said she did not allow her husband to watch the Real Housewives of Lagos show because she does not want her husband to see her in that way. Hey, she said she also does not want her husband to see how Caroline kept on lying and lying and lying against her. She does not want any of that. My husband hasn't watched the show. He hasn't? I, I told him not to. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't seen it. People are like, okay, I need to watch. I say, hey, don't watch that show. They don't show it here. <laughs> <laughs> no way. But no. I think eventually he will watch it. I don't want him to watch it. Why? Because he hasn't seen me like that before in my life. I don't think I've ever done that before. But then you don't know what you do until you join the show. Mm -hmm. Because you are in front of me telling me something that I did, I did not do. Mm -hmm. I have never done in my life. Mm -hmm. It's so obvious that it was a lie. Mm -hmm. And you, you never know how you react. In fact, I was shocked the way I reacted. Because I have never done that kind of thing before in mm -hmm. my entire life. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, is it wise for Laura to hide something like this from her husband? Is it not better for Laura and her husband to sit down together to watch this together and settle scores before it gets out of hand? Because I remember in the reunion, Laura was talking about village people calling her, her friends, in-laws, everybody calling her and asking if what Caroline said was true. So is it not advisable for Laura to show this thing to her husband before her husband watched? it on his own because the man is not a baby you know what i'm saying so guys let me let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section is it wise for laura to hide something like that from her husband share your thoughts with me in the comment section below laura is so obsessed with her family oh my goodness she talked about her family more than 100 times in this interview she just kept on mentioning her family 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 we get it laura you love family and we understand that laura said that she did not want to disappoint her family or disrespect her family that was why she kept her cool at the reunion that was the reason why she did not attack caroline at the reunion of the show mm, goodness <laughs> Well, Laura said a lot of interesting things here and I'm happy that she spilled a lot of things and this is her first interview which makes it so interesting. So I implore you that you check it out on Arise TV on YouTube and kindly subscribe to my channel and kindly check out my previous videos on the Real Housewives of Lagos. They are so interesting, insightful, juicy. Yes, if you want more details about these ladies of the Real Housewives of Lagos, check these videos out, okay? Thank you so much for staying tuned. See you on my next video. Bye for now.